Hello, Globetrotters. This is Kip Ferguson, your guide on this Travel Tuesday episode of Culinary Cuisine Journey. Today, we're stamping our culinary passports and jetting off to another delicious destination. Fasten your seatbelts, a world of flavor awaits. Our destination today is none other than Italy, a land where every region, from the sun-kissed hills of Tuscany to the bustling streets of Naples, tells a unique culinary story. Italy's cuisine is a tapestry woven with history, tradition, and an unbridled passion for food. So, let's embark on a journey through the diverse and delightful regional cuisines of Italy, from hearty pastas to creamy gelatos and everything in between. Imagine walking down a cobbled street in Florence, the aroma of freshly baked bread wafting through the air, or sitting by the Amalfi Coast, savoring seafood fresh from the Mediterranean. Italy is not just a place, it's an experience, a celebration of flavors that have captivated the world. Each region boasts its own specialties, influenced by local history, geography, and culture, creating a mosaic of tastes and traditions. In the north, we'll discover the rich, buttery flavors of dishes like risotto a la Milanese and the delicate yet luxurious truffles from Piedmont. Moving to central Italy, we dive into the heartland of Italian cooking. Here, pasta reigns supreme, from Rome's classic carbonara to Tuscany's rustic, heartwarming soups. And as we journey further south, the warmth of the sun infuses every dish. Naples, the birthplace of pizza, invites us with its vibrant street food scene, while Sicily enchants us with its blend of Italian and Mediterranean influences. Today's episode is more than just a culinary tour. It's a voyage into the heart of Italy's food culture. So join me as we explore the regional cuisines of Italy, uncovering the stories behind the dishes that have become beloved worldwide. Prepare to be tantalized by Italy's culinary wonders as we discover why Italian cuisine holds a special place in the hearts of food lovers everywhere. Italy, a country synonymous with culinary excellence, offers an astonishing diversity in its cuisine, a reflection of its rich history and varied landscapes. As we embark on this gastronomic tour of Italy, we'll discover how each region contributes its unique flavors to the tapestry of Italian cuisine. In the north of Italy, the cuisine is characterized by its hearty, comforting nature, often featuring creamy sauces, risottos, and polenta. This region, with its cooler climate and lush valleys, is perfect for dairy farming, which explains the abundance of exquisite cheeses like Gorgonzola and Teligio. Cities like Milan and Turin are renowned for dishes that showcase the richness of northern Italian fare. Think of risotto alla milanese, fragrant with saffron, or the succulent osobuco, a testament to the region's love for slow-cooked meats. As we journey to central Italy, we enter the heartland of Italian culinary traditions. This region is the birthplace of some of Italy's most iconic dishes. In Tuscany, you'll find simplistic yet flavorful dishes like ribolita. It's a hearty soup made from bread, vegetables, and cannellini beans, embodying the concept of Cucina Provera, making delicious meals out of simple ingredients. Then there's Rome, where pasta dishes reign supreme. Carbonara, Casio e Pepe, and Arma These are not just recipes, they're cultural icons, each with a story to tell. Moving further south, the cuisine takes on a vibrant, rustic character, heavily influenced by the Mediterranean. The sun-drenched lands of Naples, Sicily, and Sardinia offer an abundance of citrus fruits, olive oils, and fresh seafood. Naples is the proud creator of pizza, a global favorite, while Sicily's culinary repertoire is a fusion of Italian and Mediterranean influences, featuring dishes like caponata and arancini. Seafood is a staple here, with dishes like frutte di mer showcasing the freshness of the Mediterranean catch. Italian cuisine also reflects the country's historical tapestry. Each invasion, each trade route, has left its mark on the food. From the tomatoes and peppers brought back from the New World to the Arab introduction of rice and spices, these influences have been woven into the fabric of Italian cooking, creating a cuisine that is both diverse 
and unified in its commitment to quality and flavor. As we explore Italy's diverse regional cuisines, we're not just tasting dishes. We're experiencing Italy's history, its culture, and its geography. Each region, each city, each village has its culinary language, and together they speak of a country that has turned eating into an art form. Our tour begins in the lush landscapes of northern Italy, home to some of the country's most sophisticated culinary traditions. In the foggy valleys of Piedmont, truffles reign supreme, adding their luxurious aroma to dishes like tagine al tartufo. Lombardy offers us risotto alla malinese, its golden hue a tribute to the saffron that flavors this creamy delight. Then there's Veneto, where the seafood of the Adriatic meets the produce of the fertile plains, culminating in dishes like risotto al nero de sepia, a squid ink risotto that is as dramatic in flavor as it is in appearance. As we move to central Italy, we find ourselves in the heart of Italian gastronomy. Tuscany, known for its rolling hills and artistic heritage, also boasts a culinary tradition centered around simplicity and quality. Here, dishes like bistecca alla Fiorentina showcase the region's prized Chianina beef. In Rome, pasta dishes such as spaghetti carbonara and penne al arabiata tell tales of the city's vibrant lifestyle. Umbria, often considered the country's green heart, offers rustic, earthy dishes like porchetta, a slow-roasted, herb-stuffed pork that's a festival favorite. Our journey takes a sunnier turn as we head to southern Italy and the islands. Naples, vibrant and passionate, is the birthplace of pizza margherita, a dish that encapsulates the essence of Italian cooking with its simplicity and fresh ingredients. Crossing over to Sicily, we encounter a culinary landscape shaped by a myriad of cultural influences. Here, dishes like pasta alla norma and the sweet ricotta-filled cannoli represent the island's rich history and bountiful produce. Sardinia surprises us with its unique take on Italian cuisine, featuring hearty, rustic dishes like prosciutto, a spit-roasted suckling pig that's a testament to the island's pastoral traditions. In the world of Italian cuisine, pasta holds a place of honor, a symbol of Italy's rich culinary tradition. Across the country's diverse regions, pasta comes in a mesmerizing variety of shapes, sizes, and styles, each with its own unique story and traditional preparation method. Let's start in the north, in the region of Lombardy, where we find pizzoccheri, a type of short teglatelle made from buckwheat flour. It's traditionally served with potatoes, cabbage, and melted cheese, a hearty dish perfect for the alpine climate. Moving east to Veneto, we encounter bagoli, a thick spaghetti-like pasta, often paired with rich duck ragu. Central Italy introduces us to some of the most iconic pasta varieties. In Tuscany, paparadel, broad and flat ribbons, are often served with a slow-cooked wild boar sauce. Umbria brings us strangosi, a thick, chewy pasta that pairs beautifully with black truffles, a regional specialty. As we travel further south, the pasta shapes become as sunny and playful as the climate. Campania, the home of Naples, boasts fusilli and cuscoli, perfect for capturing hearty sauces like the famous Neapolitan ragu. In Puglia, orchetta, or little ears, are traditionally served with sim de rapa, a slightly bitter leafy green that complements the pasta's texture. No tour of Italian pasta is complete without mentioning the art of pasta making. This skill, often passed down through generations, is a cherished part of Italy's culinary heritage. In many families, making pasta is a ritual. It's a way to gather, share stories, and maintain a connection to their roots. The process from kneading the dough to shaping each piece is done with precision and care, reflecting a deep respect for the ingredients and the tradition. Handmade pasta is often seen as a labor of love. In regions like Emilia Romagna, famous for its tortellini and tegletel, the dough is rolled out so thinly that it's said you should be able to read a newspaper through it. This dedication to craftsmanship is what sets Italian pasta apart, making it not just a food item, but it's a cultural emblem. From the rolling hills of Tuscany to the sun-kissed coasts of Sicily, pasta is a thread that weaves through the Italian culinary landscape. 
connecting regions and people. Each shape tells a story, each recipe a memory, making pasta not just a staple of Italian cuisine, but a symbol of its artistry and heritage. In the realm of Italian cuisine, the desserts stand out with their sumptuous flavors and storied histories, each a sweet reflection of the region it hails from. As we continue our culinary journey through Italy, let's indulge in the country's rich dessert tradition, exploring beyond the universally loved gelato to a variety of other Italian sweet treats. Gelato, Italy's famed ice cream, is a must-try. Unlike its American counterpart, gelato is creamier, denser, and more flavorful, often made with fresh, local ingredients. Each region boasts its unique flavors, from the rich hazelnut gelato of Piedmont to the zesty lemon gelato found along the Amalfi Coast. The art of gelato making is a craft perfected over generations, a true testament to the Italian dedication to culinary excellence. Moving beyond gelato, let's visit Tuscany, where we find contucci, also known as biscotti. These twice-baked almond cookies are traditionally dipped in vinsanto, a sweet dessert wine, creating a perfect harmony of flavors. In Veneto, the birthplace of tiramisu, this beloved dessert layers coffee-soaked ladyfingers with a mascarpone cheese mixture, dusted with cocoa powder, a decadent treat that has captured hearts worldwide. In Sicily, the island's Arabic influences shine through in its desserts. Take, for instance, cannoli, crispy pastry tubes filled with sweetened ricotta and often studded with candied fruits or chocolate chips. Another Sicilian specialty, cassata, is a rich sponge cake moistened with fruit juices or liqueur and layered with ricotta cheese, covered with a shell of marzipan and adorned with colorful candied fruits. Heading towards the Alps in northern Italy, we encounter strudel, a testament to the Austrian influence in the region. This pastry filled with apples, raisins, pine nuts, and cinnamon is a delightful blend of textures and flavors, often enjoyed warm. In Emilia Romagna, Zuppa Inglese, a dessert reminiscent of the English trifle, offers layers of sponge cake soaked in Elkermans liquor, interspersed with pastry cream. And let's not forget about panna cotta from Piedmont, a simple yet elegant dessert made with suit and cream, thickened with gelatin and molded, often served with a fruit colas or caramel sauce. Each Italian dessert tells a story of regional ingredients, historical influences, and culinary creativity. These desserts are more than just the conclusion of a meal. They are an integral part of Italy's gastronomic narrative, an expression of regional identity, and a celebration of sweet craftsmanship. From the humble bakeries and cobblestone streets to the fine dining restaurants, Italian desserts offer a delectable journey through the country's culinary landscape, one sweet spoonful at a time. Italy, a country renowned for its wines and cheeses, offers a plethora of exquisite pairings that exemplify the harmony between food and drink. As we continue our culinary voyage through Italy, let's explore some of these classic combinations, each pairing reflecting the unique character of its region. In the rolling vineyards of Tuscany, the robust Chianti Classico, with its notes of cherry and earthy spices, finds a perfect match in the region's Pecorino Toscano. This sheep's milk cheese, with its nutty and slightly salty profile, complements the wine's tannins, creating a balance that sings of the Tuscan countryside. Venturing into Piedmont, a region famed for its Barolo, often referred to as the King of Wines, we find a pairing with the intense and rich flavors of Gorgonzola. This blue cheese, with its creamy texture and pungent taste, pairs beautifully with the deep and complex notes of Barolo, making for a truly regal combination. In the cool climate of Veneto, the light and refreshing Prosecco, with its gentle bubbles and floral notes, is a delightful partner to Asiago cheese. The young Asiago, mild and sweet, enhances the wine's crispness, while the aged variety, with its sharper and nuttier flavor, provides a striking contrast that is equally pleasing. As we head to Emilia Romagna, home of Parmigiano Raggiano, we encounter Lambrosco, a slightly sparkling red wine. The effervescence and acidity of Lambrosco cut through the richness of Parmigiano Raggiano 
a hard cheese known for its granular texture and complex flavors, creating a harmonious blend of taste and texture. The island of Sicily, with its robust and fruity Nero de Avola, pairs splendidly with Pecorino Siciliano. The cheese's bold and salty character stands up to the intensity of the wine, resulting in a pairing that encapsulates the spirit of Sicilian cuisine. In the northeastern region of Friuli, Venezia, Guglia, the crisp and aromatic white wines like Frolano pair beautifully with Montasio, a semi-hard cheese with a mild, slightly sweet flavor. This pairing is a testament to the region's alpine and Mediterranean influences, bringing together the best of both worlds. Italian wine and cheese pairings are more than just a culinary delight. They are a reflection of Italy's regional diversity and its deep-rooted culinary traditions. Each pairing tells a story of the land, the climate, and the people who have honed these crafts over centuries. So, whether you're enjoying a bold red with a pungent blue cheese, or a light white with a delicate soft cheese, you're not just savoring flavors. You're experiencing a piece of Italy's rich cultural tapestry, one delectable pairing at a time. As we conclude our journey through the culinary wonders of Italy, it becomes evident how deeply intertwined food is with the cultural fabric of this beautiful country. From the sun-kissed vineyards of Tuscany to the bustling streets of Naples, each region of Italy tells its own unique story through its cuisine. Italian cooking in all its regional diversity is much more than a mere assembly of ingredients. It's an art form, a celebration of tradition, and a testament to the Italian way of life. Reflecting on the diverse regional cuisines we've explored today, from the hearty dishes of the North to the vibrant sun-infused flavors of the South, it's clear that Italian cuisine is a mosaic. Each piece, whether it's a type of pasta, a specific cheese, or a local wine, contributes to the overall picture of Italy's rich gastronomic legacy. This exploration is a reminder of how regional ingredients, historical influences, and local traditions come together to create something truly extraordinary. I encourage you, our listeners, to let this journey through Italy inspire your culinary adventures. Whether it's trying your hand at making homemade pasta, experimenting with regional Italian recipes, or simply savoring a glass of Italian wine, there's a piece of Italy that everyone can enjoy and learn from. Italian cuisine, with its emphasis on quality ingredients and simple yet robust flavors, offers endless possibilities for exploration and enjoyment. So, as we bid a rivederci to Italy, let's take with us not just the recipes and pairings, but the spirit of Italian cuisine, a spirit that celebrates life, embraces simplicity, and cherishes the joy of sharing good food with loved ones. Until our next culinary adventure, keep exploring the vast and delicious world of food, one plate, one sip, one bite at a time. And for all of you that... Uh, may have picked up along the uh, the episode. I am not Italian. Uh, so I apologize now for uh, the few things that I did butcher in, for, in terms of uh, words. I did try to look these up and man, my tongue does not twist all of the ways that uh, that needed to. So feel free in, uh, in some comments or some notes to give me some corrections if you want or correct some others. Um, that's more than welcome. And as we wrap up our Italian culinary tour, I hope it's whetted your appetite for more global gastronomic explorations. But our journey doesn't end here. Join us tomorrow on Culinary Cuisine Journey for a fascinating episode titled Breads Around the World. We'll travel across continents to explore how different cultures bake, savor, and celebrate bread. From the crusty baguettes of France to the pillowy naan of India, bread is a staple that has countless stories to tell. And next Travel Tuesday, we're heading to the vibrant and colorful Mexico. Get ready to delve into the rich and spicy dishes of Mexican cuisine. We'll explore the heritage behind Mexico's famous tacos, enchiladas, and of course, its variety of chilies that add heat and depth to its culinary landscape. It's an episode bursting with flavors that you won't want to miss. Thank you for journeying with me, Kip Ferguson, on this Travel Tuesday. We've savored the sights, sounds, and tastes of a new culture, and I hope it's inspired your next culinary adventure. Tune in next Tuesday for another flavorful expedition. Until then, safe travels and happy tastings.